Hey lovelies, it's Corey, your physical therapist and trainer, and welcome back to my channel for another amazing workout. And today is day six of our sick Thursday hip and pelvic mobility, strengthening and flexibility mini series. And today's mini challenge move is another mini mobility flow we'll be doing or rainbow kicks with our frog gate rocks. And we'll be on the mats for this one, so go ahead and roll those babies out. If you don't have your mats available to you, feel free to work on your carpet or towel, whatever you have on hand. Follow along to the tips I give along the way. And if you'd like some more support and cushioning for those knees or something to help you progress this move, go ahead and grab some yoga blocks or some thick textbooks or some pillows and cushions, whatever you have available to you. And if this move is too challenging for you, just follow along to the modified versions I give in the corner of the screen, wherever they may appear. Grab everything you need. And without further ado, let's get into it. All right, we will be doing six reps on each leg. So to start off, we're just gonna get on our hands and knees and show you the basic position first. You can go ahead and get those hands stacked on the shoulders, knees stacked under the hips, get those shins and the top of those feet flat on the mat. And just make sure you have the fingers spread on both hands so we have our weight being distributed evenly to both of those knees and both of those hands. And we're not straining those wrist joints and just make sure we avoid having a sink hair so we don't strain that upper back and the shoulder muscles and the neck muscles. Just Go ahead and push into the mat, into those hands. Push away from the mat, getting those shoulder blades pressed up to the sky. Keep that back nice and straight. And we're gonna start off with our right legs. Just shift your weight slightly over towards that left knee just to prepare lifting that right leg. Gonna go ahead and straighten that right leg behind us to start off. We're gonna lift at hip level, get it up and over <laughs> towards that left side. I had a few obstacles in my way. Get it over towards that left side, just tap the toes on the mat, bring it back, and then over towards that right side as wide as you can take it. Just gonna go ahead, taking our time, lowering that foot, that right foot on that mat, or on the ground onto the side, keep it in place. Just keep your hands in position, take your time just rocking that butt back. Four frog gate rocks, getting that butt to sit on the heel, and just take your time squeezing the butt, pushing back up into or starting and just return that leg so it's under that right hip yet again. And we can have a few modifications here. If you're feeling any strain in the back of that knee, in the hamstring muscles, just go ahead and take your time. We're just focusing on the mobility of the hip and pelvis today. So you can go ahead and also just keep a little bend in that knee if that strain on the back of the knee is too much for you. You can just keep that knee completely bent and just get that right knee tapping over towards that left side, just beside that left knee, bring it back over and just get it low on that ground as wide as you can towards that right side as we do our gate rocks and really sit back onto those heels. And you can go ahead and progress with a block or two, just keep building height if you wanna progress. So if you're still feeling that strain in the back of the knee, or we just wanna focus mainly on the hip and pelvis not really straightening that leg yet, we can go ahead and just keep that knee bent out to the left and up and over, get it supported on that block and take your time keeping the hands in place and just rock back, really pushing that butt behind to really work on stretching that groin, really feeling that hip opening up, getting that stretch in the adductors as we press back up into starting and keep that going. Or you can go ahead and just progress our first move, keeping that leg straight. So you're gonna go up with that knee straight over towards that left, Bring it back up and over towards that right side, resting on the block. Keep it on that block and elevate it to really deepen that stretch. And again, you can keep adding blocks and blocks to really progress and deepen that stretch as much as you would like. If you wanna really focus on this move and really see how far you can get with this move, but choose your variation. I'll be doing the basic for you. You can go ahead and grab your block if you so desire. Wow, look at me changing my mind on the spot. I actually, the, the block seemed like a lot of fun. <laughs> the block seemed like a lot of fun. I'll have the basic in the corner for you. So go ahead, get into position. Hands stacked onto the shoulders, fingers spread, knees stacked under those hips. I'll go over some more so I'm not kicking everything behind me. Push those shoulder blades up to the sky, shift the weight slightly over towards that left knee, and we raise, straightening that right knee to start off, lift up, and over, try not to rock towards that left side, really keep the hips facing the mat. Up, back over towards that right, on the block if you'd like, and keep the hands in place. Sit back onto those heels and come up. Five more, leg returns. 
and straighten. Rainbow kick up, over towards that left side, up, over onto those blocks, foot flat if you can get it, keep it in place and rock back. I love this. <laughs> and up, awesome job, return. Check it out if you need to, keep those shoulder blades up to the sky to reset, back straight and three, straighten that leg, up, over towards the left, keep the chest and the hip facing down on that mat and rock back for a gate rocks. Bring it back up, return that leg, shake it out, wind it out to the reset and is this four? <laughs> up, <laughs> over and over, down, nice and controlled, really sit in it and come back up, return that leg. I think we're going for five. Lord help us with this counting. <laughs> Straighten the leg up and over. Again, if you're feeling any strain in the back of the knee, go ahead and keep that knee bent. You can keep the blocks and just raise that bent knee on the blocks if you like. Press up, last one. Straighten up and over. Keep those hips and the chest facing down and keep those hands in place. Take your time rocking back. If you can't sit back all the way, you can go ahead, place a cushion or another block between the heel and the back of the thighs, wherever makes it comfortable for you. Return that leg and get ready to go on the other leg. <laughs> just make sure this is in place. All right, go ahead and just keep in position yet again. Hands stacked on the shoulders, fingers spread. Push your shoulder blades up to the sky, knees under the hips. Back nice and straight. Straighten that left leg as we shift that weight over towards that right knee just a little bit more. And up, where's the ball? Over towards that right side as far as you can get it. Up and over as wide as you can get that left leg on the block if you want to progress. Keep that knee straight or a little bent or completely bent, whatever is comfortable for you. And rock back, sitting on your heel or place a pillow or a block in between. If that's too much for you to go all the way down, bring that left knee back under, line it out, reset the hips, shoulder blades up, straighten the left leg and up, over, up, over onto our blocks and sink in it. Feel the stretch in those adductors and the back of the thigh, come back up, return that leg, reset, push up and straighten, go for three, up, and over, up, hips and chest facing the floor. Keep that going, nice steady rock back, hands in place, straighten those hands and go ahead and press up. We're going for four, shake it out, straighten, up and over, up on the block and down, nice and controlled. Keep that back straight with it and press up. Two more, reset, up, straighten, up and over five. Up on the block if you're using it and down. Awesome job and up, knee returns. Last one as you reset, push up, relax the shoulder blades. Straighten that left leg, shift to the right as we lift hips and chest, facing the floor, up and over. Last one, take your time, rock it back. Whew. Awesome job, press up, return up. Oh, honestly, might do a few more reps of this, but good job. Thank you so much for joining me today for our mini rainbow mobility challenge and stick around for tomorrow day seven we have another main strength challenge with our side lunge pulses but before you go don't forget to give this video a big beautiful thumbs up subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell right over there so you can see when i post a video as soon as i post them just for you don't forget to also join my patreon so keep getting early access to the rest of my videos and also get behind scenes footage bloopers exclusive content and so much more don't forget to also leave a comment down below to tell me what you loved about this move what else you would love to see and just share with your friends so they may 
continue joining on this fantastic fitness adventure and follow my socials so you keep up to date with the latest tips and videos of everything else we have in store for you and just keep following along to the schedule guide for a 630 hip and pelvic series and if you missed anything we've so far from this series go ahead and check out our 630 hip and pelvic mini series playlist right over there and until next time my lovelies don't forget love your body have fun with your fitness and i will see you in the next amazing workout bye